Hello friends, I'm Alicia and I work at LACMA. Welcome to Andel Family Sundays Anytime. Hola amigos, me llamo Alicia y trabajo en LACMA. Bienvenidos a Domingos en Familia Andel cuando quieras. I am super thrilled to introduce artist Katie Unger, who will teach us how to make a hanging art quilt with fabric you probably have around your house and you don't even need to know how to sew. Estoy super contenta de introducir al artista Katie Unger, quien nos enseñará cómo hacer un edredón para colgar con tela que seguro tienen en su casa y ni siquiera tienen que saber cómo coser. Here is my quilt that I made. Aquí está mi pequeño edredón que hice. Now settle in for the video. Ahora alístense para el video. Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. For this workshop, what we're going to be doing is making a hanging quilt that involves no sewing and we're going to be using recycled fabric from old clothes. All of this is from old clothes that I no longer can fit in or for whatever reason I just don't wear them anymore. And a lot of times, you know, it's hard to get rid of clothes. Maybe you love the patterns and the, the colors and the shapes, or maybe you love the textures, or maybe there's a memory attached to these items of clothing that you just want to hold on to. So this is a great way of recycling your old clothes and giving it a fresh new life through art. So the materials that we're going to be using are craft glue. You can use uh, really any glue that you have lying around. Safety pins, this is optional. Marker, and this is going to be just to create lines on your fabric to cut out. Scissors, cardboard rectangles. So if you have an old box, you can cut the box into uh, small rectangles of different sizes. What I like to do is start with a tough fabric, and this is going to be for the first layer of your hanging quilt. I find that pants make for a really good first layer because they're, they're tough, especially jeans. I love using jeans for this. And that way you have a nice durable first layer and then you can put all of your other pieces of fabric on top of it. I am going to place my cardboard rectangles down and I'm going to trace around the edges to make some rectangles to cut out. So you'll find that after you cut out your rectangles, you'll have all these other little pieces left over. And these can actually make some interesting lines to add over the top. Now that we have our rectangles, what we're gonna do is we're gonna patch them together, arrange them side by side, and then you can go ahead and glue the edges together. And we are going to be now adding different fabrics on top of this. Choose the patterns and the colors and the shapes that you like and then cut them out and we're going to decorate over the top.
Well, thank you so much for joining me and I hope you had a great time making your unique hanging art quilt. Thank you so much, Katie. Muchísimas gracias, Katie. What did you like best about this video? Please tell me in the comment section. The Andell Family Sundays team misses making art with families in person, and we would love to hear from you. ¿Qué es lo que más les gustó de este video? Dime en los comentarios. El equipo de Domingos en Familia Andel les extraña muchísimo. Nos encantaría oír de ustedes. Watch videos made especially for you on LACMA's YouTube channel, and please like and subscribe. Mire videos hechos especialmente para ustedes en el canal de YouTube de LACMA. Y por favor, danos un like y suscríbanse. Until next time, hasta la próxima vez. LACMA respectfully acknowledges that the lands on which our museum is built and the region that we serve is the ancestral and unceded territory of the Gabrielino Tongva, Gabrielino Kich, Fernandeño Tatatviam, and Ventureño Chumash peoples. Los Angeles County has been and is home to many indigenous peoples whose ancestral lands are here and elsewhere. As an art museum and a collecting institution, LACMA recognizes the role we and similar institutions play in the continual displacement of indigenous peoples from their lands, the theft of cultural objects and ancestors from their native caretakers, and the erasure and marginalization of indigenous artists in the stories museums tell. We are committed to working to dismantle the ongoing effects of this colonial legacy building networks of support with and for indigenous art communities and tribes, and being better stewards of the lands we occupy. This acknowledgement marks LACMA's commitment to interrogating our own position in the structural conditions of federal colonialism and how we can work to dismantle them. As such, this statement is a work in progress and will continue to evolve through this process. Katie and I filmed this video from our respective homes in Northeast Los Angeles on Tongva, Keech, and Chumash land. Thank you very much.